As far as the announcement from the uh, the U.S. authorities last night, Ben Bernanke was concerned, I've got mixed emotions about this, because on the one hand, uh, it's probably good news for markets that in fact we're seeing a delay in the so-called taper, and the delay will probably now be around about December or, or January before it takes effect. But on the other hand, it's saying that the conditions in the U.S. economy are more fragile than we originally thought. Now that means that the fundamentals that would naturally push a market upwards, an equity market upwards that is, uh, are probably not as, as intact as we thought they were. So, that, so there remains a disconnect between the high level of the markets and the underlying fundamentals. And that disconnect has been very much in place for this year and most of last year as well. And it's now getting bigger. When Bernanke first announced that they were going to have the so-called taper back in May and June, uh, the effect was very pronounced. We saw markets coming off because speculators particularly took a dim view of this. They saw uh, the, the, the cheap money that was sloshing around the world would no longer be available in the, to the extent that it orig originally was, coming back in and supporting the markets. Other players, other participants, saw this as being quite a good thing because it meant that the U.S. economy at long last was gaining sustainable traction. So therefore, that, that's where the conflict arises and that's where it still lies. The worrying thing now in my mind is that we're going back to a situation where a lot of market participants will now feel that there's an unfettered uh, situation occurring. In other words, we're looking at a situation where the market will probably keep on rising purely on the back of uh, a lot of cheap money coming back or, or staying in the market. Not coming back, but staying in the market and not being taken out. So that says to me that you've got a, a, a fundamentally unstable situation with regards to the market. If that is to ever come off, as it probably will do in December and January, I think we'll, we'll get a position where the, the participants will, will take flight again, as they did uh, a few months ago when uh, Mr. Bernanke made his first, first pronouncements. Uh, and unless that coincides with uh, a profound improvement in the U.S. economy, then it could result in lower equity markets generally. So that you've got this balance. You've got this, as I say, this, um, this conflict there. You've got this kind of mixed emotions taking place all the time. And only time is going to tell which one of those is the right one. In the meantime, for the next six months or so, I think we've got to make hay while the sun shines. I think the the excess liquidity, which, which is going to remain in the system, will undoubtedly, undoubtedly flow back into emerging markets, and South Africa is conveniently placed in emerging markets. So I think it's likely that the RAND will continue to strengthen. It, can, it strengthened considerably last night, and uh, I think our equity markets will continue to get a boost. So uh, with that in mind, I think from a trader's perspective, good. From a fundamental perspective, I think um, caveat emptor is the, um, is the watchword here. Yeah, 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 yeah.